I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The atomic bomb made the prospect of future war unendurable. It has led us up those last few steps to the mountain pass, and beyond there is a different country. There are children playing in the streets who could solve some of my top problems in physics because they have modes of sensory perception that I lost long ago. The optimist thinks this is the best of all possible worlds. The pessimist fears it is true. It is perfectly obvious that the whole world is going to hell. In science, there are no shortcuts to truth. I have to say that the notion of a secret is rather amusing to me. It is, of course, always natural to want to keep things to oneself a little. In the laboratory, there are no furloughs. The scientist is not a person who gives the right answers. He's one who asks the right questions. The atomic bomb certainly is the most powerful of all weapons, but it is conclusively powerful and effective only in the hands of the nation which controls the sky. There are indeed things that cannot be put into words. They make themselves manifest. They are what is mystical. Both the man of science and the man of action live always at the edge of mystery, surrounded by it. There must be no barriers for freedom of inquiry. There is no place for dogma in science. The history of science is the history of overcoming barriers to the objectivity of inquiry. It is an important and popular fact that things are not always what they seem. The atomic has led us up those last few steps to the mountain pass, and beyond there is different country. It is a profound and necessary truth that the deep things in science are not found because they are useful. They are found because it was possible to find them. I have been a sore-headed occupant of a file drawer labeled science fiction ever since, and I would like out, particularly since so many serious critics regularly mistake the drawer for a urinal. The weapons are so terrible, they are so destructive and so indiscriminate that wars become really unthinkable. It is always wise to look ahead, but difficult to look further than you can see. Both the physicist and the mystic live in the experience of the marvelous. It is our responsibilities, not ourselves, that we should take seriously. The true scientist never loses the faculty of amusement. The open society 
the unrestricted access to knowledge, the unplanned and uninhibited association of men is what I hope for. To listen closely and reply well is the highest perfection we are able to attain in the art of conversation. The atomic bomb made the prospect of future war unendurable. The center is not really good. It doesn't hold. There is an enormous element of chance in the process of learning and discovery. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. Both the man of science and the man of action live always at the edge of mystery, surrounded by it. 